I mean, look at that. Look at the opposition to question three. Have you heard about this, uh, Frank? Um, with the um, no, I haven't heard about it. All right, uh, the the group uh, no on question three in Massachusetts. It's uh, a former drug czar warrior. He lives in Cambridge, Mass. Now his wife's going to uh, Harvard University for her doctorate. And he's like a speaker, you know, uh, drug reformer, spoke at the U.N., that type of dude, you know, funded. And then you have this other lady, Heidi Heilman, <laughs> who is a, uh, she runs the Mass Prevention Alliance, and they've formed a group, No One Question Three. And they put out a press release attacking myself, mentioning the King of Pot, uh, pointing out my videos, because I dared say that uh, their ridiculous argument that no one should legalize medical marijuana is a ruse for legalization and that people should vote no because we're trying to secretly legalize it. And I responded and said, well, if it's that's... Not a secret, it's not a secret. 60% of uh, Massachusetts voters also want to legalize 62, it. 62. <laughs> 62% of mass voters. They were calling us the uh, vocal minority. And I said, no, we're <laughs> the silent majority. 62%. And they turned around and, and put out more smears and like, you know, continue with their little propaganda piece and then the press came calling and the press found out what was actually going on, and they laughed at him again because they had already got punked by Gasek like two weeks ago. Yep. So it's like they uh, they they are like spreading these lies, like uh, you know, it just and and now they're saying that they're actually eating into our vic- like they they they're saying they think they're going to win. Like, do you think that they have? Well, they're any just chance? grabbing at straws. Yeah. You know, they're just grabbing at straws. I mean, these people are hopeless. They have you know old dead ideas that are going the way of the dinosaur and, and they're the past, you know, and we're the future and they mm-hmm. should just shut up and get in line, really. Because, <laughs> yes. you know, we're the ones making the decisions. So yeah! Their campaigns and whatever crap they want to do, but that's all they got. They don't have facts. They don't have the people on their side. They've just got, you know, whatever special interest that's supporting them um, on their side. And obviously, you know, we've proven through the, you know, tests and, I mean, the government holds a patent on medical marijuana. So how can there be no medicinal properties if, if the government owns patents on it, yep. you know? I, I mean, let's deal in reality here. Let, let's look at the fact that, like, you don't need some crazy chemical pill that some company made when you can just smoke some weed to get the same effects, you know? And it's going to have, you know, barely any of the health consequences, if, if any at all, you know? So, I mean, this just comes down to money, you know, and interest. Absolutely. And they're just trying to you can be like, oh, you guys are mad, we're mad, we're mad, because they're mad, because they're going to lose. I know. Yep, yep. I, I think that the king Desperate. Of, yeah, I think that the, the king of pot, who they try to make like look like like he was some like crazy yeah. dude in their email, they put out this official press release. That's so ridiculous. Totally how, did that, how did that help you in terms of uh, views well, on got, your videos and all that stuff? Well, it got more views for me, but I also just want to talk about the credibility issue. Like, mm-hmm. they try to label like the king of pot as being really out there. And if you really look at the Kea Pot, he's actually, he has been political. He has done a lot of activism. And if you look at his story, like once you ha- know who the King of Pot is, you find out about his story. His story is very credible. And I think if you did a poll of Massachusetts voters right now, alone, and you put up Kevin Sebay, Sebet, versus the King of Pot, I think the King of Pot would have more credibility among voters than Kevin Sebet. Yeah. You know, like, if, they, if you ask voters which one is more outrageous when you put out the full substance of their, who these people are on the internet, which everyone's going to look at, I think more people would support the King of Pot than Kevin Sabat. So, I mean, that just says it all for us. Like, they can't find anything against us anymore because we're always right. <laughs> you know? Simple as that. Uh, yeah, most of the time. <laughs> no, we're always right. On marijuana, though, on marijuana, we're always right. Because yep. come on, did I learn nothing from the school I just went to? Oh, yeah, we are always right. <laughs> on weed, I should, I should. <laughs> you're right. I should amend it. I've amended it. Can, can we say we're always right on weed? Yeah, at least, at least we at got least that part that. down at this point. <laughs> right, right. One would hope. <laughs> Absolutely. One would hope. Absolutely. We, we have another phone That's call. Funny though. Frank, we're going to take a phone call. Let's uh, hang on the line. Awesome. Let's see who if they have any questions for you. Hello, who's calling? Hello, it's Garrett. How you doing? Oh, hey, man. what's hey, up, Garrett? Garrett. <laughs> uh, I heard you guys. I heard you guys talking about uh, King of Pot. Uh huh. What do you want to say? I just want to give uh, KOP the hugest props for printing out like fifteen hundred flyers for Art of the Fed. Yeah. 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 Ye
Dude's got credibility. I don't see anyone calling in for Kevin Sabat or Heidi Harmon. I see people calling in for the King of Pop. Wow. Yeah. You want to say more I'm about at, that? I'm at the office right now, but I just want—I heard you guys talking about him, so I just wanted to give a huge shout out because he was a huge help. So anybody out there, support us, all of Evolutionary, KOPProductions.com. Damn right. Thank you, Garrett. Thanks. That was a great call. Thank you so much, Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Garrett Kirkland. Hey, why don't you have those guys on the show? Who? Kevin, Kevin Sorbet and his I, Actually, I just sent him an email today. I said, you know what, dude? Come on and debate <laughs> my can. So, yeah, let's, let's see what he has to say right when he's in the studio. Let's see if he wants to do it. I, I, yeah. think, I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll do it either. But you know what? Let, no, Mike Can is... A fit. Let's make that official. The two hotheads. Yes. We have put out the official. We will be fair. We'll even get a moderator. We'll, we'll make rules if they want rules. But we will have a debate. Oh! Yep. And, and I told them to come in and be fair. team yes. debate. Against Kevin and whoever. If he wants to bring in Heidi. Kevin and we'll Heidi. Do, yeah, Kevin and Versus Heidi. Heather Mack and Mike Can. I'm calling it the Kevin it's and Heidi night. show. Welcome to the Mike and Heather show. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. Mike and Heather versus Kevin and Heidi. Probably give them way more publicity than they've gotten so far, yo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what have they raised so far? Six hundred dollars to our like five hundred thousand. <laughs> there was a nice. there, no, there was a there was a Metro article like a few weeks ago that I that said that uh, that uh, the Mass Prevention Alliance and uh, No on Three had raised six hundred dollars, yeah. a total of. And you, you know how can, you could tell they're not that effective either. Like they're not like. They put all my video. They promoted all my videos. Yeah. They promoted this one specific video the most. And that video got a, like a few hits from them, but not that many. Considering how outrageous it was, you would expect that I would have gotten hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views. But like our 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 own media, our own Facebook our, got way more views of that video. You know what I'm saying? Like we have yeah, so much cool. more share and power yeah people because that's such a ridiculous argument it's like oh this one guy said like yes we you know massachusetts wants to legalize weed and so do i and and that's supposed to negate all the arguments of uh medical marijuana and it's like nobody's gonna buy that like it's pathetic 62 percent want legal the shit they say on their website is fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the whole thing about 92% of teens that go to rehab are there for marijuana addiction. It's like, are no. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what they, that's that what they say. Website? Yes, because, Stuff because, like because they can say, no, they, it, it really was because it's like, it, they, they say that, but it's basically because if kids get caught, if teens get caught with weed, they often, instead of, you know, having something on their record, they'll say, oh, well, if you they decide to, to go to rehab and you go to rehab and you pay us a bunch of money and you pay the rehab a bunch of money and then we can say, oh, you got admitted for marijuana. And even religious But it families. doesn't mean that even you ever had a problem with weed yeah. or were addicted to weed even, or just even forced people, even, into even rehab. Even parents who are, who are uh, overly ridiculous on weed or maybe religious or Mormon, like, you know, I don't want to stereotype, <laughs> but there are certain parents like that that will react by sending their kid to rehab because they think he has a weed problem. Like, they don't but know how to totally deal with it. They have no the experience planet. with it. I mean, how, how like, you're going to send your kid to rehab where people are doing, like, hot drugs, like people are yeah, addicted to meth and crack and heroin, and you're like, that's where you think your kid belongs exactly. to smoke weed? Yeah, exactly. Like, you, and now mind? they're going to learn how to be a way better drug addict when they come out, just like when people go to prison and they turn out being way better criminals yeah. when they come out, because they have no other options, because More they can just wasted it. so much of their life. Exactly, and then and then it's the weed's fault, right? And then, yep, oh my yep. God, the my son fault. never smoked marijuana, you would never go to rehab. <laughs> yep. Crazy. It's crazy crazy, crazy ass shit. Yeah, it's, exactly. So it blows my mind that they're, you know, they're they're totally grasping at straws, but it's not going to work. It's they're not going to win. <laughs> it's absolutely not going to work. I mean, you know, what's the worst that can happen? We're all going to eat Twinkies? <laughs> yeah. Make sure to go to vote no on question3.org, I believe is the official website. Yeah, they did it. <laughs> they, I got my voter information packet and it and it, it I it, got that too, yeah. Yep, and it was sure as hell fucking said. <laughs> They updated. Oh, Have you man. seen the update? Oh it's yeah, now it's like, oh, just kidding. We totally support marijuana yeah. <laughs> legalization. They, they had an update up over there. They updated it. Oh my God, if Scott Gasek, what, yeah, what know, a genius! That was the one that we we're talking about. Scott Gasek, he uh, found out that, and I almost did this to Kevin. I, I was like, fuck that, I ain't doing it myself. But like, Kevin Sabay, Sabet, if you go to his actual website right now, he 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 lost his domain too. Like, he has a uh, website for like his his private 
you know, his public policy group or whatever that he links to on all his websites is no longer owned by him. And that's what happened Scott with... Scott Kasich buying that one up, Yeah, too? Scott, you can get that one, yeah, too. You can get on, Kevin dude. Sabet's... Uh, not, you should buy it, Mike. No, Kevin Sabet has kevinsabet.com. He, that's current, but there's another website that he gave up. Um, but Kasich did that to them. There was a, a, a website... What, did, what is it? Mass Vote No? When, no, Vote No on Question 3.org. That they had advertised, especially big time in the uh, state pamphlet, the voter guy that went out to all the voters of Massachusetts and... Uh, they didn't have the website registered. This kid, right. Scott Gasick, we know, registered it and spunked <laughs> them and spoofed them and put an onion like website up there. My an apocalypse is impending due to marijuana use. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, Unreal. J- local drugs and thugs, de- you know. Tweaky union. sales go up. Yeah, yeah. Drug, drug dealers union says, please don't legalize medical marijuana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's amazing, it, and and now apparently it's it's a it's another spoof site that just says yeah just kidding we totally support legalizing yeah. marijuana. Yep. <laughs> we changed our mind. We changed our mind. They're right.